Hi, welcome to Pocho Concha Kitchen. Today I'm cooking, <laughs> you guessed it, conchas. And the instructions are all in Spanish. As you guys know, I'm still learning Spanish. I'm also not a very good cook, so everything's against me right now. <laughs> but let's do it. The directions say, saca la masa del refri, ref, refrigerator y colo, colocala en la... Starting a little later. Oh, this is for the pollos. Oh, okay. Wait, where does it start? <laughs> it's all in Spanish, Claudia. <laughs> this is literally the first sentence. What's agrea? Put. Put? La levantu, levantura flour? Cool. What does levantar mean? No, to get up. Mm -hmm. uh, sure. The yeast. Yeah, I'm doing this whole thing. How much does it say? Oh, shit. Up there. <laughs> Four tazos is uh, spoons, cups. I haven't even started yet. There's a lot of words and numbers. Uno. <laughs> Spanish for one. If you didn't know. <laughs> y dos. Spanish for two. Oh, was that two? Things go like out my brain. That was two. <laughs> Tres. Y cu cuatro. Cucharaditas. Teaspoon. We're gonna Google if cucharaditas is tablespoon. Un momento, por favor. Jump, jump, shooby doo wop, ba doo da. Teaspoons. Como se dice, I was right. Mezcla con las manos. I mix all of this right now. Con mis manos. <laughs> oh, that's nice. This should be an ASMR video. Amasa con mano hasta que la masa se separe. So knead it until they, the masa separates from the walls. I don't know how to knead anything. Uh, so I'm gonna ask Matthew from Tasty, who is a very talented chef and baker. Jump, jump, shooby dooby doo. All right, so I brought Matthew in here because I need help uh, to Need. In order for this to come together, I think she definitely needs a little bit more moisture to get it smooth and then the flour on this flat surface to smooth it out. Beautiful. <laughs> so you like push with one hand, fold it, put it back, and you just kind of redo it and you kind of turn as you go. Wait. Bye. Adios. Gracias por uh, ay ayuda. Ayuda. All right, now we're gonna let this sit in the fridge for uh, a day. I hope it goes well, please. Please, little baby, please taste good. I love you. I got you to be touched by the hands of Tasty, the Tasty Gods. I want this shit to be good, okay? Like, I'm not, I'm not here to, to lose, I'm here to win. I have a lot at stake here. My pride, my, the, my people, my, all my pocho conchas out there, this is this needs to be a win for them. And if this tastes good, I've done my job. And if it doesn't taste good, we'll blame it on Tasty. <laughs> day two. Day two, day two, day two. Pocha concha kitchen. All right, so we're gonna make the top layer, which is the concha part. I'm super excited. It's gonna be good and sugary. Sift the flour and the, the what is this called? Azúcar de glas. Azúcar de glas. And then we're gonna do one cup, the azúcar. Yes, yes, give me all the sugar. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so now we're gonna make the sugar part, which is the most exciting. All right, that's my first try. Um, she is pretty, but not as pretty as I want it to be. Done. I'm done. Shut up, Claudia. <laughs> well, uh, we're gonna put this in El Horno. Estufa? No. In El Horno, and then we're gonna see how they look, please. If you don't turn out good, I'm gonna have to give my Mexican card back, and it's already faded. So we're here at Claudia's house. We put the first batch in, and they look like they're doing things. Oh, wow. How do you think, any it longer? It does look golden brown at the bottom, kind of. Oh gosh, I'm so nervous, I don't know. Now we're going back to work, and I'm gonna Test this out on my coworkers, on my Mexicanos. Hope they like them. I am from Mexico, so I think I am the ultimate judge. You, I grew up in Mar Vista. It's considered Little Oaxaca. There are bakeries all over the place, and my mom used to pick these up almost every day after school. I was born in Mexico, I grew up there, went there back every like summer. I feel like she got the traditional kind of like swivels down. This is great, I have one first thought. My favorite part of the concha is the glaze and this is very covered. It's got the fluffiness inside, it's a bit more dense than I'm used to. Same with the frosting on the outside, it's slightly harder than the stuff I usually have it's like really bready. I like my conchas to be like chewy, not crunchy. So, do I just go? This is good. I'd say overall it's pretty good. I don't even know how you drew these on here. It's like a little bready. They're um, usually like lighter and fluffier. It's so good. It's not too sweet, which is the whole point. Okay, I'm not kissing ass. I actually think I like this better than the regular concha. Yay! To get the Mexico stamp of approval. The recipe was in Spanish, so it was like learning all of these things. Everything was a first. And I think I did pretty okay. I want to hear from you guys. What do you guys think I could have done better? Thanks so much to Hogar Dulce for the recipe. What do you want us to cook next?